Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, this is the fourth video in the new season of this series, which is uh, Scott Tries. I try different web services, and in this series, I'm focusing on these uh, different web services that one I've either used, uh, never used, or have kind of a iffy idea on what they do. I am going to talk about some that I've used before, but uh, like for instance, Glitch. I've been to this website, but I have not used Glitch. I actually, I might have an account here. I don't know, I'm not positive. Uh, and what we do is we just sort of dive into these things. I talk about uh, what I'm learning from reading the, or you know, what I get the general vibe, the process of starting a new project, what the service is, who it's for. Uh, we really dive into just a little bit of these first time experiences of using these projects as somebody who's used a lot of this stuff before. So. Uh, Today we're talking about Glitch, glitch.com. They got a couple of fish as their logo here. Gotta love that. Gotta love their colors. Gotta love their personality. If there's one thing that Glitch has really nailed, it's personality. My gosh, this is awesome. I absolutely love the general style design and feelings of this website. This website makes me want to come back. Um, so obviously I'm not doing design reviews, but I do talk a little bit about the design of these things as we go. And I got to say yes to this. Yes, yes, yes to this. So what the heck is Glitch? Glitch is a friendly community. So obviously friendly from, you know, you got two people laughing here. We got cats and stuff. Seems friendly where people uh, uh, built, where everyone builds the web. Simple tool to create a useful app or to create and use millions of apps and a start creating button. Got to love their button styles are fantastic. Spark your next project, just start typing code together. Now, I am a person who likes to get their hands dirty in code when I want to work on something. I just jump on something and I don't want to spend a lot of time getting started, configuring, building, uh, setting up build tools, whatever. I love tools that make it easy to get started. Things like Code Sandbox uh, comes to mind. That's maybe one that we should do a video on, even though I'm very familiar with Code Sandbox, um, Code Pen, those kind of things just make it so easy to get going. And Glitch, seems to emphasize that. Uh, glitch on Dev.2. Dev.2, if you don't know, is a great platform for blog posts. Um, I don't spend a lot of time there, but I have an account there. I've read some really great posts. Uh, Dev.2 community. So a bunch of us are huge fans of Dev.2. Uh, so we're excited to share fun stuff from Glitch or the Vibrant community. Follow us. So it looks like maybe this is the Glitch blog on Dev.2. This is cool. Appreciate it. Um, Here's some fresh apps. Somebody made something about food, auto-generated food trend journalism at your fingertips. Very cool. Um, by Aaron Best. Shout out to Aaron. I don't know you, but uh, seem cool if you make this. Making resolutions 2020. Okay, so these are this is fun. Okay, so here's the vibe I get from this. I get that it's a fun way to just get started coding projects. Uh, do you code within this? It looks like you do code directly in this glitch app. And sure enough, you're probably not going to code in these little tiny windows, but it looks like the whole vibe here is that you're creating projects and they have this nice little remix to edit. Now, remix to edit, I'm assuming is going to, uh, you take somebody else's project and you change it. They're sort of forking it. They're basically coming up with a new word for fork, which is remix, which is fun and, and all that stuff. And I'm I love it. I absolutely love it. This might not be for everyone's personality, but this is my personality right here. I love all this stuff. Uh, I could just go on and on about gushing about the design about this. Let's go ahead. Uh, what's fun about here is that um, there's a sign in button, but there's a new project button here. So they obviously are emphasizing that it's fast to get up and running. And if you click new project, Hello Express with simple node app. So you can do node on here. It's not just front end stuff. Very nice. Uh, your own web page or a SQLite. Ooh, a node app with a SQL data light database. So you can even get up and running with some data. Now we have these three options. I'm going to pick the middle one just because it's a nice middle ground. We got a uh, node server. We got a front end, most likely. Most likely. Uh, we'll see. Either way, it's creating this project for us. Um, like I said, I didn't read too much there. That's sort of the vibe of this series. Is again, it's sort of relaxed, right? You can you can tell by uh, my attire here and my general presentation that this is relaxed. Okay, so welcome to Glitch. Click to show our live updates. Okay, so this is the Glitch 
workspace. I didn't have to create account, which is cool to get started without creating an account. I like it. I like it. CodePen, I think, did that too, maybe. I'm not positive about that. Um, but a lot of these kind of things did. Looks like you have your files here. Okay, our package.json. We have a server, views, public. So we are serving up an HTML file, footer made with glitch. And so if you were going to just go ahead and say, hey, I want to just tweak on some, um, oh, this is a client. Sorry, this is interesting here. If you just wanted to like tweak on some, some HTML, you got a server, um, and you just wanted to try some stuff out, cool. Hey, this is, uh, you got a node server up and running. Now, how do I see this thing? There's a show, a new window, or next to code. Let's go next to code. And really neat. Really neat. Their basic form here, besides using my favorite shade of blue, um, is just neat. The whole thing has a lot of charm. If we're talking charm awards, glitch, top, top notch for charm. Uh, it's funny, I don't want to do like a reviews and ratings on these things, but like if we're talking about charm, we got glitch at the top so far, and then just below it is going to be begin because they had that squirrel thing. Uh, th there's a lot of cool stuff going on here, and I really like this. Now, I am wondering about the color scheme in this editor. I, like many people, really like a dark color scheme. I really like a dark color scheme, and maybe that's something you got to see or have to be logged in. Maybe you, you can't do it at all. I'm not quite sure. Um, ooh, change theme. There we go. Yeah, I was going to say, if, if I would be surprised if they didn't let you change your theme. Keyboard shortcuts, change your theme, make this project private. Cool. Okay. I can get behind this. I wish there was a little bit more to this editor in terms of changing your theme, changing your font, maybe. Uh, I don't love this font. I prefer a font with... Um, I don't know, ligatures and stuff. I, it's it's not a big deal. Uh, I don't even know what this font is, to be honest. But this little interface is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, there's a lot of things I would maybe change about the aesthetic of the editor itself. It's an online editor, right? It doesn't need to be awesome. So this is neat. Nice way to get a project up and running. You don't have to create an account. If you do sign in, looks like you have some options. Magic link is an option. I'm going to do a GitHub connection because... You know, why not? It's easy. And then now we're here. Fantastic. Oh, I got my icon. It shows me. I can click these fish. And what does this do? Back to glitch. Okay, if I go back to glitch, this takes me here. Hey, hey, who's that guy? Who's that guy? Uh, my son always says, I go, who's that guy right there? Um, that's me. These are my projects. Very charming. Can't say that enough. Fresh apps. Let's go ahead and remix one of these. We have community picks, dozens of remixable apps, glitch team favorites. It looks like it's all very curated. Let's go ahead and remix this one. Do I select the fish? Remix on glitch. And then I can click the full screen here. Food hype. That's right. It's Lox Cove Sangria. It's a thing now. Next article. Mocha cake is real and it's controversial. Why would that be controversial? Okay, one thing I clicked the 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 embiggen. I don't know if that's the word embiggen thing on the uh, the little miniature editor, a tiny little editor, and it took me to this, which is the URL for this page. But I was hoping what it would do was take me to a full screen version of the editor while I'm remixing this. But I guess I haven't remixed it yet. Okay, I'm still learning here. Remix on glitch. Thank you. And it looks like it's doing that. It's opening up in an editor. Show on Glitch. Welcome to Glitch. Here's a little readme. Trying. Can I edit this? Can. Can I do that? Um, I can't edit it. I don't know why I can't edit it. How do I edit this? Rename? Duplicate? Hello? That's a bummer. Um, can I edit this? Yes. Okay, so the README um, doesn't like that. I'm looking at Markdown. I need to check that button, and now I can edit it. A little confusing. It'd be, here's, here's, I don't know if the Glitch team cares. I honestly don't, don't know if they care, but it would be cool if you could edit it in the Markdown view, like any, like, um, I don't know, any of those, like, 
there's a bunch of note taking apps that do that. I forget, but just a small little thing. So here it is. Interesting. Welcome to Glitch. We can just say Scott tries Glitch. Sorry for my loud typing. And if, do I have to save this? Do I have to do Command S? Auto saves, and it lets me know with an emoji. Cool, I can do, I can hang with that. Um, let's go ahead and get this thing side by side. Let's click show, we'll do side by side. Here we go, food hype. Um, let's modify something here and see this in action. Okay, so we have a bunch of first and last, as in like, interesting. These are like names, last names. I'm not sure what the names do here. Trends, recipes, memes. I don't know what the names do here. It's okay. We have a spinner. We have some CSS. Ooh, Benton Sands. Let's do a background instead of a fafa. Let's do a background of ugly blue. Uh, and it lets me know that it auto saves. How fast does this auto save? So if I say red here and I move off this line, cool. What happens if I do green and don't move off this line? I just leave it here. Wow. What happens if I do green? and it doesn't work. Turns white. Interesting. I wonder what this delay here is. I'm absolutely fascinated by this. Uh, this seems like, a, like a, a huge playground. Now, the cool thing I really like about this is that unlike things like Code Sandbox, where you get these little tiny windows, and you got to drag them around, and it's this seems much more like a, here's your, um, here's your text editor, here's your text editor in the browser, here's a window, just go nuts, and we're gonna do all this auto-saving, it's gonna show you really quickly. Um, this is the kind of thing that is really neat um, to just goof around on and probably actually create some interesting things. I'm not sure if you can get the, let's see, we do code, we can invite others, let's see, can we download this project? I bet you can download this. Um, Again, this is just me exploring. Git import and export. I would assume that was something there. I would imagine that you can download this thing, no problem. Create a code of conduct, that's neat. You can just create a code of conduct. Project page, invite others. Uh, there's a lot of neat little things here. This is the kind of site that you wanna dive more into and I think it's a lot of fun. If I'm gonna do a fun project, I might check this out instead of CodePen, not because CodePen is bad. CodePen is excellent, but I like this full editor. This looks nice. This looks like something I would want to use. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty interested in this. So this is Glitch. It's a cool way to create projects. Um, you can create some very real stuff on here and you can, ooh, rewind. I don't even know what that is. Uh, looks like, you can learn a lot about web development just from creating and remixing and trying out other projects and um, doing some really interesting stuff. Very fun. Uh, I'm going to spend some more time on here. I might create some projects, test out. This is glitch.com. This is what you use it for. It's not necessarily a service for uh, creating your API or hosting your database, but it looks like it's a really neat little service to create fun apps, which is really a lot of people who started in web development. Uh, you know, like myself, I created a lot of fun stuff, you know, especially in like my space time where you're just like hacking together things. And this really seems to catch that vibe where you're just building stuff for fun. So check it out. Glitch.com. Absolutely love this site. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to get more tech uh, web development things in your ears, check out syntax.fm. Uh, it's a podcast I do with the amazing incredible, uh, the only, the one, the only West boss, he and I talk about all sorts of web stuff. The latest episode was tech to watch in 2020. We did an episode on, um, the stacks that we make for things. Pika package was an awesome episode. Wes and I both switched to Firefox for a month and we talked about that. There's so much cool stuff going on at syntax. We even do user submitted questions every single month. So check it out syntax.fm. And if you want to get more tutorials, head over to level up tutorials. There is so much tutorial content available at leveluptutorials.com. Uh, My internet is bad today. I'm not going, I'm sure it's going on. We were using the TIG shape site and it was taking a really long time. And it's not, I felt bad because it's not, you know, the TIG shape people fault. My internet's just being not good. Um, but we have so many courses of 
Firebase and React is the latest. It's taught by James Quick, who's just a fantastic teacher. Um, we also have a guest course from the one and the only Travis Nielsen, who is um, Dev Tips on YouTube. He he's just fantastic. Uh, we also have courses on Gridsum, which is a static generator for Vue, React and TypeScript, Next.js, Svelte, Gatsby and Shopify, Gatsby e-commerce, dev tools and debugging, animating React, the list goes on and on. Leveluptutorials.com forward slash pro sign up for one year and save 25% off. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.